Okay, in today's video, we are looking at percentage loss, and you don't want to lose your money. So this is bad but good because I'm going to teach you all about it. So, model. Let's have a look at it. Percentage loss or profit is actual loss or profit over the original amount. So same as last time. So here I can see that we have. Uh, we have. <laughs> We started with one hundred pounds, and we've ended up with eighty. So what's the difference? Well, we are difference of twenty pounds over our original amount times that by one hundred. So on your calculator for this, zero point two times one hundred equals a loss of twenty percent. There we are. Okay, this one here. Start with 350 and we ended up with 245. So quit the bit on your calculator. I can see. Well, what's the change? The change is 105. Over our original amount, 350. So on your calculator, you're going to do 105. Divided by 350 times that by 100. And that's going to equal 0 0.3 times 100 equals a loss of 30 percent great copy that down and then you've got four questions here okay pause the video pause here okay 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 right let me just show you the answer for one so we'll do the bottom three i like to do that one so we started with 990 and now we have 920, 920.70. So what's our loss? Well, 990 minus 920.70. We have lost 69 pounds and 30 pence over our original 990. Divide that times it by 100. And that's going to give us our loss. So divide it by original amount, 0 0.07 times 100 equals a loss of 7%. Okay, have a go with the rest. And then we've got practice here. It's such a worldly question, same thing. So guy spent £11.40. He sold all the cupcakes for £39.90. What profit did he make? So, original. Ended. Okay, I'm not going to help you anymore. Find the change, find the original, go from there. The price of a magazine costing £1.20 increased by 150% over two years. So, well, £1.20 equals 100%. What's 150% going to be? And it increases by that. So, you know, £1.80 equals 150%, but it increases by that much. So £1.20 plus 150%, okay? Joe says the magazine is now 1.5 times more expensive. Okay, have a go. Eric says two and a half times. Who's correct? Tell me. Give me a little sentence. Who's correct? Okay. Right, let's look at another model. You can use in first operations to find the original amount. So, in one year, a car value dropped by 12%. So, 100%. And then what do we see here? Dropped by 12%. Take away 12%, it now is worth 88% of the original value. So, 9,240 equals 88%. So, what we can do, our original value, I'm going to call it X, times 0 0.88 equals 9,240. So our original value is x equals 9,240 divided by, because it's the inverse, 0 0.88. And that gives us an original value of, divided by 0 0.88, the original value was of x 10,500. Like so. Okay. Let's do one more, just for just for good luck. Okay, uh, I bought a I bought a bike, and after a year, it's dropped by thirty percent, and now it's worth 
six thousand six thousand two hundred pounds. So our value, our, what's our, and what's my original amount? So I can say original amount equals x times. Well, if I drop by thirty percent, it's now going to be worth seventy percent. So you can see that here equals seventy percent. X times zero point seven equals my new value. So I can do divided by zero point seven to both sides, and say my original value was x equals six thousand two hundred divided by zero point seven, and that my original value of my bike is eight thousand eight hundred and fifty. Let me write that a bit later. 8,857.142 decimal places. Okay. Right, two practice questions. Get them done. I'll put the answers up for you to self-mark and then application on a Google form. Okay, I'll speak with you guys shortly.